What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. There is something about walking up to this castle. It is just so incredible. So uh, yeah, welcome back to a brand new episode, brand new day. I'm going to be honest with you. It's an early one. Hopefully we're going to be able to wake up nicely. I got some water. And we got a lot of work to do. So this morning, the morning I'm recording this, which in real time is probably like a week ago, maybe a little bit more, uh, is the morning that we could officially start posting gameplay here on YouTube. There goes Peeves. And uh, man, I was up until 2 a.m. last night prepping everything. I had most things could go, to be honest, I was playing. And then the, um, the embargo time was 6 a.m. So I got four hours of sleep, and now it's 7.30. I posted the video, responded to comments, responded to people on Twitter, stuff like that. And I was going to go back to bed, but I'm like, nah, I kind of want to get back to playing. So, uh, I don't know. I can kind of feel like we're getting towards the end-ish. Obviously, we still have a couple of trials to go and things, but uh, I just, I can feel everything heating up, and I just really want to keep seeing what happens. To be honest, I'm just obsessed. There's no other way to put it. I have not enjoyed a game like this pretty much ever i i, I think like the first time i played spider-man swinging through new york city was pretty cool obviously you know last of us got to wear stuff like that but i hello there even those i don't think i enjoyed as much as this this might be my favorite hello, game mate. of all time do i recall you saying that you speak Gold maybe gta Gook? 5 i did i mean i do speak it is this to do with the goblin i saw you with in hogsmeade it is luck his name is Lodgok. Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? Daddy's I got think you. He simply wants to show me something that involves Gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know Gobbledygook. But how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Interesting. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Appreciate you, Amit. So he's at least going to be... A benefit to us. I hate to say it like that, but it's true. Uh, this telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect for viewing the moon and the stars. Anything else one might want to find in the night sky. Um, so yeah, Lodgok hit us up. You guys know we, we did the, the helm of Hellguard or something like that. We went down, got that special goblin helmet. And um, he was going to use that to give it to Renrock be able to earn his trust. Apparently that did not work. So he recently hit us up and he said, hey, bring somebody you know who knows gobbledygook. I've got another plan. So we're going to see what his second plan is. I'm still not sure I can trust him. I do like Serona. I want to trust her judgment, but something about Lodluck just kind of rubs me the wrong way. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. Hmm... You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals! Bragbore? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbore's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbore had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, the Keepers, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. 
Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. Ancient magic. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He's not wrong. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. <laughs> you speak gobbledygook. Oh, Leo. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. <laughs> it's because he's only I, uh, read it. Well, he has no yes. experience. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. <laughs> I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need or to because do it's is a trap. not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Eye above the enchanted door? What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. Oh. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. So it's like those chests. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. No problem. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. All right, Amit. It's time for us to go into a mine. Hopefully I can count on you. The description of Amit says that he can't really be trusted and... Oop. Hold on a second. We got hork lumps over there, too. He can't be trusted when the going gets tough, so... You'll see. I'm a little worried about that. The door is looking at us. Can't see anything, though. The mind's eye. Here we go. I don't, I, I don't think Wadgak really is prepare one for reality. bad, but... A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I mean, this is pretty cool. Their handiwork with all the pipes and everything is pretty I cannot believe impressive. I met a goblin. Rebellio. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Good friend. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Down we go. I still can't believe we're inside a room. Accio. Should open that door up. I'm gonna go this way and check for some loot. Oh. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. That started that up and gave us some bags, okay. This is our main objective. You on here, bro? Nope. Oh. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. So he said we don't want to be seen by anyone. I mean, I think we're going to have to take these guys out, right? I would Watch imagine. Watch your step round here. <sighs> I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Spider! I was hoping we were going to be able to sneak up behind them and... Whatever it's called, but... Woo! 
Now we're just gonna finish this guy. I'm gonna need a uh, a yellow a yellow thing. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have Sorry to use some unforgivable curses in front of you, bro, but honestly, things have been popping off. There's been a lot going on outside of the school of meat. Stuff that you don't necessarily want to know about. We approach undetected. Should be able to get through the door. Love that mechanic. Well, looks like we're going to be able to... Get some more loot somehow. That goes back that way. Pull that. Is that gonna open this door? There better be something good up here. We got a legendary chest. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just got to take the path less traveled. Love it. Back downstairs here. Sorry, I meet. Like I said, things have been popping off. Your boy needs some better gear. We're gearing up for a war. At some point ahead of us. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, I'll meet. See if we can find any plans. There's enemies in the oh, next room over. Around here somewhere. You ought to come back on pretty. It's tricky for trouble. Three of them here. Don't really know who to take out. Ah! Oh! Well, that works. I didn't even think I was close enough to touch that. I don't know how that happened, but hey. Caused a distraction. I don't think they really reacted to it. Search this. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. There must be more notes around here. What? Revelio. We'll keep looking. Don't you worry, Amit. Another one here. A schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Probably the giant digging thing? Would be my guess? I don't know. Another piece here. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're Rebellion. building something rather large. But what? Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. It's always oh, my cow. turn for patrol. Gotta take a wide berth on those explosives, huh? There's nobody up top. Better than patrol duty. But you can still tell us. Catch up to him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Someone there. You were a bit aggressive, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I didn't want to. Way too long. Crucio. Let me just get everyone in here cursed. Imagine you go on a little adventure with it. 
a fellow classmate. You're like a nerdy kid, you know, used to the books. Is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Good the um, you know, this this kid you hardly know, all of a sudden starts casting Crucio and Imperial on people. I'd be so. I'd, I'd think it was pretty cool, but that would also be like, all right, yeah, I'm I'm out. So that started something. I'm assuming we're gonna go up top. I haven't been up there yet. Make sure we're not missing anything. Rebellion. Hmm. Depulsor. Almost missed this guy over here. It's a slow and steady process of meat. Leave no stone unturned. We're gonna have another legendary chest over here? Nope. Blank square frame. Revelio. So I think turning this on had Accurate. something to do with that. It's going around this way. That's probably going to take it to the next room. And then we're going to be able to activate something in Revelio. the next room. I would assume. Another page here. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Hmm. Well, this isn't right. Revelio. Oh, there's a path through here. Through the waterfall. <laughs> The right's our objective. That means we're gonna go left. Oop. Oh, no, wrong thing. Sorry. I mean, this is not my first time. I promise. Got a whole garden in here, huh? Rebellion. Right. Making our way deeper into a goblin cavern. Next time I see Dago or that student, I'll give them what they deserve. Invis? Might be able to hop up and get big guy here. Just kidding. See myself doing this sort of thing forever, though. Fancy I'll have my own yes, no talents out one day. People working for me. Help me out here, bro. I need a little, a little assistance. Everyone's just doubled over in pain. Can't even react to what we're doing here. Get you up in the air. There are way too many guys in here. Join the squad, bro. He's got the dual the dual wields. Those are pretty good. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna throw transfigure on. Gotta love throwing people at their own guys. He's down. We've got one more here. We just need to uh get another yellow on it. This guy is quick. We could just finish him off, but I'm saving it. That should be the last of them, Ovid. Revelio. So it looks like we could have gone up and around to get that main guy, but that's fine. Do 
do feel like the enemies are starting to get a little bit tougher. Looks like we've got a, uh, a thing there. But we don't have any energy going. Where was the energy that we sent through previously? This one back here, we put it, we turned it on. We went under the waterfall. I assumed... That would run th through here. Is it this? No? Okay. I was hoping we had turned that on and then we would unlock it in the next area, you know what I mean? But it doesn't appear to be working that way. Yes, of course. Gonna go stealthy, be able to get through this door, and we're just gonna keep moving. If we miss one thing in this whole ordeal, I'm not too worried about it. Looks like we can turn that on. Now, does that... Ah, see, sometimes you gotta, you gotta turn around and look back. There we go. Ooh. Do I want to go up top? Let me make sure. No, we want to go that Rebellion. way. Oh, no, this is what we wanted. This is not good. It's a mining device. Enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. We've seen those. Let's get out of here and tell Lobko what we found. Okay. Is there anything else in here we need? Can we get any loot to come off this belt? No. This is gonna be our way out of here. We almost left the mine without getting what we actually came for. That would have been bad. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I hope it's that easy. Level two lot. Not gonna be able to do that yet. We need to go do the moons. Honestly, that's one of the biggest things. Now that the game's officially out, instead of searching endlessly, mindlessly on our own. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. We could probably just look up a tutorial and go do it. Hate to be that guy. I typically don't do that, but for the tiny statues around a world this big, yeah, I might have to dabble in that a little bit. Um, can we please talk about what just happened? We're good, bro. That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Of course. Appreciate it, without buddy. Without further ado, at you. Breaking out of his mold. I like it. Getting out of the books. Out of the astronomy tower, actually. Getting some... Dirt under the fingernails. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But Is instead, this she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. Oh, that's, that's Fig's wife. Together. Miriam. Oh my gosh. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And I know of the container. She met Lodgok. 
<sighs> the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. So he's going to get even more powerful here today if he worries that. me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. It breaks my heart a little bit. Ultimately, I think we've brought this onto ourselves because it sounds like the goblins are just very mistreated, very misunderstood. I mean, all it took was somebody inviting him to sit down and hang out. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. To change allegiances. Let's just invite Ranrock to lunch, the three broomsticks, and call it a day. You gotta love a Christmassy Hogsmeade. What? Look at how everyone got decorated. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. There's wreaths everywhere and garland and bows and stuff. This is fantastic. I, something about this game, man. It just, it, it always feels alive. There's always something going on. We've been here during winter before. They didn't have the Christmas decorations up, did they? I mean, the way they show the passage of time is just so cool. Look at this. Three broomsticks all done up. All right. We've got a um, a new upgrade from Albie Weeks. Hello again. For our broom. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for the you. The special price what should be free. For today? If I'm being honest. Level two upgrade is 4,000 galleons. I'm going to get it. Because be I hate myself. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. There's no way that's going to be worth it. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. <laughs> I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. So we can get pretty... This is the spot where it starts to lose it. That's... Honestly, not too bad. We are going to have to go to the very southern part of the map that we have not been to yet, though. If we want to unlock this next, uh, this next upgrade. I think, I'm assuming there's going to be three upgrades in total. So this next one should be the last one, but, uh, we need to unlock 
the area before we can get there. We've got this giant goblin mine right here. It's kind of like a, a cutoff. You can't go above it. And then that opens up this final area, so. We're gonna... Just mosey our way on through here. See if we can unlock a new area, get some new fast travel points. And most importantly, honestly, it, it takes him a long time to uh, to do these upgrades. So I just kind of feel like we need to get them done as soon as possible. Hmm. Will he see us here? I might have to come back here and explore this a little bit more next time, but main objective is just to get through. Don't know if I want to go live. Oop. Two more right here. I feel like we could go live, but this is just kind of a pretty grand area, so I'm worried. Too many enemies. Too much chaos. Got somebody up there. I don't know if there's going to be a way around. Oh, he's just patrolling. Try to get up on this wall. We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Ogbert the Odd? I mean, we're here. Oh, your boss just died? Just gonna turn around and face the other way? Sure. Got a guy over here, too. I'm behind this door. <laughs> I love how we did a finisher from a distance and they just don't even... Don't even notice. Come on, buddy. One, one more. Just one more. Turn the other way. Just pure stealth. That's what Your I'm talking about. On Ranrock's hands. So that must have been a, a big, you know, important supporter of Ranrock. And now we've made I've it through. I've said that travel broadens the mind. I mean, just wow. Go ahead and jump off this, and we are right back at it. Look at the size of the smallest most southern part of the map. Look how far away the room trials are. Got lots of enemies all over the place. I don't even know if we're a high enough level to be able to take these on, so I'm just gonna make our way there. I'll grab a couple fast travel points along the way. Rebellion. Grab whatever loot and things that we can as it's convenient, but we're mainly just gonna go meet up with Imelda. Dude, this is beautiful country. What have they been hiding from us down here? There's gonna be a lot. I've heard a lot of interesting things. Wow, what is that down there? I have no idea. Some sort of a hideout look at the size of that skeleton. Okay. We're, uh, I'm gonna go grab this fast travel point. This is the last one. Then we're gonna get to our, our room racing, but this is exciting. So there's still an entire side of the map. And the crazy thing is, is this, I mean, it's taken us a while to get through it. You can see our path we've taken. This is so small in comparison to the main map. Like it, this game, even at this point, is continuing to get bigger, better, more open, crazier. Just ridiculous. Grab this real quick. Don't mind me. I'm gone. Your boy's too fast with it. Like I was never there. I'm like, what the heck? How did this kid get through the, uh... The gate over at the north end, but... We are all good to go. How the heck did Imelda get out here is what I want to know. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's alright. I'm over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? In it. Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. Oh, she's intense. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. 
I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> you are a bit intense, girl. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Well, we'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose. I kind of, honestly, I wish these were actually difficult. These are not difficult at all. It's brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. A little oh. disappointing. Oh. I, mean, I understand to be able to improve the broom, but like I just, I wish we had a, a tough racing challenge. I do feel like we have more control of the broom now. I don't know if that's because I'm just getting better control. Or if the actual, I, I think the handling's actually better. It's still a little awkward. I mean, the broom flight's a little awkward. I, I gotta be honest. There's some weird momentum happening when you change directions. It, it doesn't react immediately. I mean, it's it's similar to how you would expect broom flight to work in real life. It's not gonna be an exact science. This is going well. Especially this early on, as Albie is doing his upgrades and things. But <laughs> now that's more like it. Pretty fun. Okay, now we're starting to get a, a little crazy towards the end here. Going downhill. Oh, missed the bubble there. And we have the finish line. All right. Brilliant. Not bad. Another perfect uh, example of how to fly. Well, Amelda, let me pick up these slugs. Something. They're more important than you are. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Put me on the team for Seeker next year. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team... It's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted, I don't know what I'll do. I wonder how hard Apology, it is to become perhaps? a... Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pop me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. Oh, come on. That was actually pretty good. It's been fun competing against your records. Amelia. It hasn't. It has They were been easy. Fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. I still don't like you. You're an asset to our house. And you're an ass. We are not the same. You take care of yourself. Well, I appreciate it, I guess. All right. That is going to conclude our I adventure that down here. That this was his best upgrade yet. In the uh, the south of, of Hogwarts, I guess you could say. Look at that sunset. Hold on. Can we, can we take the sunset in for a moment? That is magnificent. All right, Albie, I'm back. You're back. Nice to see you. Again. Time to continue extorting me for upgrades. Just ridiculously again, overpriced upgrades. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic. Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. It was nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. I think we're going to get of more course. speed. Of course. Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I don't even want to know what that's going to cost. What will you do after the final upgrade is complete? I aim to make spint witches the most sought after shop in Hogsmeade. And I wouldn't mind getting back on a broom myself, just for the thrill of it. Couldn't be more pleased we made headway with the upgrades. Proved the naysayers wrong. Made all the hard work worth it. It was a lot of hard work. I this took a long time. I look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. 